Africa's premier long distance horse racing event. Start at the lever around the finishing post on two occasions. And let's give them a chance to settle down for a leader. Two strikes is right there. Golden parachute, night to remember. Along the inside of that, Power Lord has a good position. Yes, predestination on the outside. Saf one along that inside. Dance at daylight. Just behind that one is Aslan Kolkata. Il San Pietro, six lengths off them, in writing, then comes Captain's Wild, behind that one Saluki, Hawkeye, Key Castle, Lorenzo Marks is one of the trailers with 2,500 metres to go, Arcola's on the outside and Dolomite's the trailer. As they settle down, going behind the tote board with 2,400 metres to go, they'll be coming back into view shortly at the 2,400 in the Cannon Gold Cup, and it's predestination, a half length. Night to remember races in second, two strikes is right there, third, golden parachute out the rail, fourth, then dance at daylight, power lord and Jeppy's Reeve. Aslan's about eight lengths off them, Safwan and Il San Pietro, they travel side by side, eight lengths off the leader, then Saluki Kolkata. In writing's got about 11, 12 lengths to make up with Captain's Wild, then Hawk's Eye, Arcola Lorenzo Marks, Dolomite's about 18 lengths off the leader, and predestination at the 1800 leads it. Still there by about two lengths. Night to remember a second. Golden parachutes at the rail third. Then comes two strikes. About five lengths off the leader. They're followed by Power Lord Dance at Daylight. Further back is Jeppy's Reef and then Aslan. At this stage, Safwan at Lille San Pietro and Kolkata. They're about ten lengths off the leader at this stage. Then Key Castle. Behind that in writing. Then Captains Wild Lorenzo Marks and Hawks Eye. Dolomite and Arcola the last two about 18 lengths off the lead. Predestination continuing to lead the Cannon Gold Cup. The Grey Knight to remember. Two strikes, yellow sleeves and cab. Golden Parachute, Jeppy's Reef, then Dance at Daylight. That's got about five or six lengths to make up. On the outside, in writing, Aslan. Then behind that one there is Key Castle. saluki has got about 12 to go. Il San Pietro and Safwan, they're still travelling side by side. Arcola's passing the stragglers, coming around horses. Then we drop back to Lorenzo Marks, Captain's Wild Dolomite, the last two about 10 lengths off the leader. Predestination half length in the Cannon Gold Cup. Golden Parachute right there, then two strikes, Jeppy's Reef, Aslan around them. Dawn set daylight, Safwan on the outside, Il San Pietro. They're followed by Calcutta, Golden Parachute. Top of the lane in the Cannon Gold Cup. Predestination, the leader, night to remember, Aslan. Il San Pietro, golden parachute running on with Aslan. Coming down to the 300 meter marker, night to remember. Predestination, Il San Pietro, Jeppy's Reefs running on. Kolkata's on the outside, towards the inside in writing. Night to remember, Il San Pietro and Kolkata over the last hundred. Kolkata down the inside, Aslan. Night to remember, it's Aslan in front over the last 50 and Kolkata it's going to go to Aslan from Kolkata, then night to remember Il San Pietro, Jeppy's Reeve, further back in the field dance at daylight, Saluki, Arcola Golden Parachute and further back to two strikes what a win here for Sean Terry he saddled the winner and the runner up, six Aslan and 20 Kolkata, well done to Sean Terry, winner of the Cannon Gold Cup, he saddles the winner and the runner up, and Aslan and fights on courageously in the close.